of YouTube. So this is a continuation of dislikes and likes. So these are the, these are the things that I like about the car. So there, there's a, a chunk release on a FOB. This isn't a game changer. I, I just never had it before on my previous cars. Uh, when, when a user walks away from the car, you can set this in settings. When, when you walk away from the car and uh, all the doors are closed, and the trunk is closed or the, the car locks. Also, when, when you have your key fob, if you ever lock it in the trunk, uh, you, you can uh, push the button and unlock it. The, the car won't lock, basically. And that basically prevents you from having uh, to call somebody to open your car for you. The, this car has an emergency brake handle versus a button. The, I, I was riding around in 2018 a Honda Accord and then uh, my Prius that I had before and then it just didn't have the handbrake so it, it's better to have uh, the handle versus the button in my opinion the the stock shifter pretty smooth fairly short but I, I still had to get a Quirks for short shifter and I'm interested in how the Craven speed short shifter would feel I'm not sure if I'll like it I probably won't, you know, I'm not going to switch out my Quirk Sport because it's on the car already. But it'd, it'd be interesting to see what the Craven Sport would be like. The interior design is basic. It's pretty clean. You could reach everything uh, when, when you're in a driving position. It has cruise control on the steering wheel versus that Prius that had a short nub on, you know, behind the steering wheel. The, this car has a hill assist, so basically... When you're on a hill and then you shift, you put your clutch in and then you shift into first and it holds the car for, I think it's like three seconds. It basically uh, holds the brakes on your car so that you could take off. And I haven't tested this in San Francisco, but for, for basic hills, it, it works pretty good. So the, the this car has a basic heating and air controls. The dials they're ba they're basic, versus uh, versus the what was it the Grand Touring? If you look at the Grand Touring, it has like auto settings and does it have dual climate control? All this bullshit. In my opinion, that stuff is gonna break because I actually had it on my Mazda Speed Three before, and and it broke a couple times. So and in my opinion, it's better just to have you know basic features, stuff that you know is gonna work. The, this car comes with LED headlights and they're basically better better versions of HIDs, I guess, because I'm assuming there's less parts. The, this car comes with a, a push start button versus having to put your key into the car. It's a it's a time saver. I mean I I don't I don't miss using the key at all. But yeah, there, there was one time that if you had a, if you have an automatic, you have to push on the brakes and then push the start button. And I did that. I, I pushed on the brakes and then, and then I pushed the button and I was like, hey, how, how come my car's not starting? And that's because I have to push on a clutch because I have a manual. So an, another thing is uh, I, I think this car is so beautiful. The, the, the appearance package, I, I think that these cars should only come with they, they should always come with it. They should not ever come without it. And that, that's kind of disappointing that on the 30th year anniversary, it didn't come with an appearance package because if you put that on, man, it would look so bulletproof. I, every time I get out of the car, I, I always look I always look back and admire it. When, whenever I'm walking around the corner, I, I, it just makes me smile I, every time I see this car. But even if it was ugly, I, I still would have bought it because at that time I was looking for a light, a light car that had rear wheel drive that was uh, decently priced. So blind spot detection. Uh, this is on the side mirrors. And it just encourages you to signal even though I'm pretty bad at it. Um, I normally don't signal. I'll do it if people are around me, but if nobody's around me, I normally don't do it. Uh, auto down so there there's one touch auto down for your windshield that's a good feature that, that they have 
Uh, the Recaro seats were a, a must-have for me. I, I needed those seats just because I, I like the way they look and I like the way they feel. And when, whenever you're getting out of the car, you kind of have to push up to get out because the, the side bolsterings, it, it'll prevent you from just like turning out of, out of the car. So for this, traction control off. So for this, right, if you turn off traction control and you turn the car off, it, it turns it back on. I, I normally just leave it on, but I, I know a lot of uh, a lot of testers like to turn turn it off to see how the car really feels. But I, I feel like it's there for a reason, and I, I mean I, I don't mind having it. For the, this car, I, I've always wanted a rear wheel drive car. I, I used to have. So my, my first car was a Dodge Shadow front wheel, Honda Accord front wheel, Honda Prelude front wheel, uh, Mazda 3, and then I had a Mazda Speed 3 turbo front wheel, and then I had a uh, 93 RX-7, and that, that was, that's the, that, that's the funnest car I've ever had. Uh, I, I, I think the RX-7 is still funner than this car, even if, if the Miata has a force induction, if it, if it had like a turbo on it, it'd probably take the cake. But um, RX-7, it, it's just a visceral car. I, I love it, but whenever it broke, it, it breaks your heart and it breaks your wallet, basically, because that, that car is uh, it's not as reliable. And, and, and when you have to fix it, it's a nightmare, in my opinion, versus if, if you just bought something new. You know, you probably won't be wrenching on it as much. So for the clutch, well, whenever you're driving, the, the clutch grabs right away, in my opinion. It's pretty low. I, I think it's, uh, well, when you push it down, it's within a quarter of a third of the release. So for this one, so the, the power on this car, it's not... It's not that high, but it's a light car, so I, I, I think that it's adequate for what it is. The throttle response is, is pretty good, but obviously you, you can't really compare it to something turbo. But I'm, I'm glad that I, I don't have front wheel drive anymore because uh, front wheel drive, I basically couldn't handle, uh, it couldn't handle the power for a front setup and and I, and I was running a 255 4018s for that car another thing that I like is a uh, low cost maintenance basically I changed out the air filter one time uh, 37.5 I, I changed the oil the intervals are 7500 I changed the tires at 30,000 only reason why I changed them at 30,000 was because I was taking a, a road trip up to Alaska. I'm pretty sure I could have got 35,000 miles out of the stock of Bridgestone Potenza S001s. But I just upgraded to the Michelin Pilot Sports and I have uh, the Pilot Sport S4s in the back. But I, 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 I didn't have a problem with uh, the stock tires. I, I thought that they were pretty good. The the car felt pretty solid. Now, a lot of people complain about the back swaying out, but if, if you're only rocking you know, stock power, it's fine. You're not gonna have a problem with it. It's only when you upgrade to uh, to force induction or, or more power that you'll have a problem with, uh, with the suspension. So that there's uh, mat locks on the floor mats. And and then my uh, my previous car, the Mazda Speed Three, it didn't have it. The the floor mats would be all over the place, and that that was super annoying. But the, this car has the the hooks. And basically, for uh, if, if you have a soft top, you could put stuff behind the seat in this area right here. You could probably put like a sleeping bag back there, or your jackets or whatever. Uh, versus if you had a hard top, you wouldn't be able to do that. So in my opinion, the, the, this car, I, I think it's awesome. It's one of the best cars I've ever had. It's reliable. 
you know gas mileage is pretty good if you're running stock i normally got my range was 350 and i was, I was getting 35 miles to a gallon but then now, now that i got supercharger on it i dropped a lot to uh, like 23 25 basically i dropped to what i was getting in this car So the, the, the car drives pretty good. It, it's like a go-kart, basically. You could throw it around. The smooth shifts, decent power. It, it feels real good. It always puts a smile on my face whenever I'm driving it. And, and I actually look forward to waking up early and, and driving it. And it's cool to uh, take it up early and, and go on some back roads if you have the time. But this is also something interesting as if... Uh, if they took, if Tesla took this car and they just put their technology into it, and, and you can imagine how ridiculously fast this thing would be. I'm not saying that it would be a, as fun to drive as a gasoline car, but I, I, I think that if it was an electric car, this should be fucking crazy. Uh, the, the club package with the Recaro seats and the Brembo brakes, the spoiler in the back, the side skirts, the lip. The rear lip, it, it looks awesome. And and in my opinion, they they never ever did a refresh on the exterior because the car looks awesome. Ver versus uh like a BRZ or a, well the FRS they they had to make minor changes to the rear lights or, or the little, little hints on the front bumper. My Mazda Mazda got it right the first time. Yeah, that, that's basically it. Um, let, let me know if you guys have any questions on, on this car. And have a good day. Thank you for your time.